So my friends, now that the elections are over, it's kind of a funny question, but it's not really funny, right? So when Peter B was running for the presidency, a lot of things were happening. You couldn't debate obedience. You couldn't try to point out one or two negatives you took with P2B. It was as if you had to believe P2B in total and you could never dare to criticize him or you hate Nigeria. So you must be one or the other. If you don't want to follow P2B 100%, that means you detest Nigeria. And for me, my question now is, for those, for those people who blocked their friends, those people who sacrificed years of relationship, maybe decades of relationships because of P2B, those people who insulted, cajoled, um, um, what the, you know, spoke evil things to, you know, said lots of negative bad things to, you know, what happens now, right? What happens? Now P2B has lost, what, what happens now? And for me, the, it's, not, it's, it's not really to say I told you so or to say, oh, I was right and you are wrong. No, my, my point in, is, in this is politics is all, it's all a game. You cannot afford to lose friendships because of politics. It's not, it's, not, it's not the right thing to do. Peter B has called Tinibu and Atik of his other brothers. You cannot risk or sacrifice years of friendship because of Peter B. It's not worth it at the end of the day. You, we must begin to see politics as see just a game. Today, somebody, today, person A wins. Tomorrow, person B may win. You win or you lose. That's that's what it is. Yes, obviously, it has a lot of repercussions. Tinibu becoming president has a lot of consequences. Of course, it does. But to approach politics very emotionally is the wrong way to approach politics. We must begin to look at politics from a dispassionate point of view. I don't need to lose my friend because of P2B. No, I don't need to. I don't need to be, be insulted or be cajoled or be or be called names because I refuse to, to follow P2B 100%. I can still follow P2B. Don't get me wrong. I can still vote for P2B. But at the same time, I can still say I believe he was a mediocre, he was a mediocre governor. I believe he didn't do well as governor of Ambrose. I believe that he should have spent rather than save. I've, but this argument is lost time, but just for the sake of this, I would, I would say, why are you saving half a billion dollars when there are still so many roads to be built? There are still so many hospitals to be built. There are still so many schools to be built, and so forth and so on. Anambra does not need, Nigeria does not need people that will come in and save. We don't, we don't, we don't need a banker. We're not electing you there to, to, to be a banker and to save our money. No, we are electing you there to spend our money wisely for us. So these are, these are some of the things I had against P2B when he was running for president, for president. And he weren't allowed to say those things. Once you say those things on social media, they will call you out, they will call you names, they will insult you. They will come to your DM and call you and, and, and call you and insult your parents, your, your kids, your family members. And I'm like, it doesn't work like that. So I think the point of this video is just basically to say, we can analyze and critique politicians and not lose our morality by in doing so. We can criticize P2B, Tinibu, OBJ, Atiku, IBB, and we can still have some, some modicum of respect for ourselves. We can debate constructively without insulting one, or, one, one, or, one, one person or the other. We can hold two views at the same time. This is one of the things that Nigerians struggle to do. We have to hold one view. At, at all times. No. Two things can be right at the same time. Two things can be true at the same time. In my opinion, and you may disagree with me, P2B was not a good governor. However, out of the three most popular candidates for this last election, P2B was the best. Out of Tinibu, Atiku, and P2B, P2B was obviously the best. Now, if you expand that bracket and put in Shore, in my opinion, Shore is the best option for Nigeria. So you can hold those two views. P2B, not a good governor, but, however, P2B, out of the three options, the best candidates. But for Nigerians, we struggle to hold those two views, and that's wrong for our politics. For our body politics, we need to hold two views at the same time. The two things can be true at the same time. 
So the whole point of this is to say, what happens now to all those friends you lost? Those people that you that, that you probably blocked. So I mean, I saw, I saw some people on social media saying, oh, they blocked somebody because the person was not supporting P2B. You blocked your friend, you blocked A B or C, you you did this or you did that. I'm like, come on, man, that's this is this is laughable. What if the person that you're blocking is what is was gonna help you two years down the line or next week? You block someone that was gonna maybe offer you a job or give you a reference or give put, put a good word for you. So just because of P2B, you sacrifice a good job, a promotion. It's not worth it. It's honestly, it's not worth it. I, I think it's a bit shyish. I think it's a bit amateurish to, to sacrifice your friends or your relatives because of politics. It's not, at the end of the day, it's not worth it. These guys, they will move on. They will move on at the end of the day. But people like you and I, young people like you and I, we can't afford to lose quality relationships at this point in our lives. We can't afford to lose quality friends. We need all these friends. You need all these people you're, you're talking to on Instagram, on Twitter. You need them. You need to, we need to start building those coalitions because we are still very young. So this is the time to build coalitions. This is, this is not the time to start blocking people or start insulting them. You know, so I, I hope you got value from this from this content. If you like it, please subscribe, please like the video. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm making sense? Do you think I'm just talking anyhow? And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.